and we're back now today in this video as you can see behind us we're back on the SN95 Mustang there's a fault code showing on the dashboard and it says check engine so I did the right thing opened the bonnet checked the engine it's still there but apparently that's not good enough so having read the code it's the camshaft position sensor that's causing the fault so today we're going to replace that without further ado let's get on with it right then camshaft position sensor is what we're changing today if you've not seen one before this is what they look like on the SN95. There's just two screws that hold them in, and that's where it plugs in. Now, it's dead easy to change. As I say, there's just the two screws. They're about a six or a seven mil. Unscrew those, lift it away, put the new one in, tighten the screws back up, and then put the plug back into it. The problem is, or the difficult part is, it's in there, which you will not be able to see at the moment, but it's under this, it's under the coil pack. So yet again, well done Ford, what a brilliant place to put it. So all of this has to come off. Uh, if you've watched anybody else do this, or you've seen anybody else doing this on uh, on YouTube, you'll have noticed that they just take all these cables off and remove that away. I'm not doing that, because I want an easy life. So, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take this out of there, and put that to one side, so it doesn't get stuck on anything. And then we have three bolts to undo. All of them are 13 millimeter bolts. There's two down here. And there's one right at the back down there, which I don't know if you're going to be able to see from there because it's all the way down there where my finger is somewhere. So we'll try and take that one out first. Actually, no, we won't. What we'll do first is unplug this socket that controls everything. I'll get that out of the way. I'll just put that to one side there, which makes it a bit easier to get into the socket, into the bolt rather. So the coil pack is on a metal bracket and has three bolts that hold it in. The first one of which is here. So we'll just loosen that off. This one's an actual bolt, it needs to come all the way out. The other two down the front behind the fan belt or the drive belt are nuts that need to come off as well. All off. That's the bolt that comes out. So that now is a little bit looser than it was. Right, so the 30 mil spanner, let's get that in there and get that loosened off a bit. Now in theory, it should simply be a case, take these nuts off, tilt the entire coil pack on the frame slightly backwards towards the front uh, the windscreen of the car and then these two brackets down here that where the two bolts go through the bracket should enable it to lift away this whole unit tilt back a bit and should just come off at the front like that and that's your coil pack so you just want that somewhere out of the way and that's the sensor so that's the bit that needs to come off now, apparently if I to unscrew it just slides off so I'll put that down there out of the way like I say these are just two simple screws they're about a 7 or an 8 mil fiddly to get to because of the size of them. But once they're out, that should just lift out. And be careful because what you don't want is any dirt to get in there. So that's the old one. That's what the old one looks like. And that's what it looks like inside. Basically identical 
to this new one that we're going to be putting in, or replacement one that we're going to be putting in. They're both the same inside, which is what you want. So, we'll just get that one put in, and then we'll put everything back together. As I said before, it just goes in in one position. So the two screws slide into those holes, all the way down, and then it's just a case of tightening it back up. I don't know if this has a torque setting in the manual, but seeing as how they're about a 7mm screw and it's made of light plastic, I would imagine you want it snug rather than tight, just so that it's not actually moving. Like I said, you don't want to crack any of the casing at all. That seems to be perfectly in place. <clears throat> so then it's just a case of taking your plug plugging it back in now there's no click on this one but there is I don't know if you'll make it out on camera or not I'll try and point to it just there was like a little step on the socket of the uh, of the sensor itself that this bridge bit here sits behind it's what like locks it in place I would imagine and that certainly doesn't want to go any further up so it's a case of lining these two holes up down here that's them and then let's manhandle that back over there it does get stuck on this hose that's it right so we're in there I appreciate that was a bit violent when it went in but it was sitting on a metal clip so no damage has been caused to any hoses if you wanted to do it this hose here is all steel if you want it to go that far you could take that hose off but as you've just seen you don't really need to just be careful that you don't nick it or put any kind of split or anything in that bit of metal pipe and you should be okay and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to line it up at the back here and put the bolt in at the back first making sure that no wires are trapped so hopefully you can see that hole just in front of my fingertip which is where the bolt goes and these are 13 mil bolts or for those of you watching outside the UK half inch and the water pipe is completely in the way I'm just trying to get that bolt back out a bit Push that in a bit, line that hole up, drop that in there and get it started. And we just need to put that on the head of the bolt. That's it, we're on. Right, so that's all back together. So I'll just get this plug put back in. It just goes into there. Make sure that's all the way down and in all the way. And then I'll put this little fella back in here where he was. And that's everything back together. That's how you change a composition sensor. Now hopefully you can see that the check engine light there is on. I'm just about to start the car. As you can see, the check engine light has gone out. So hopefully that's going to stay out. Hopefully that'll be the engine light sorted out so the check engine isn't going to show anymore on the dashboard. If anything changes and it comes back on, I'll do an update video 
let you know what the code is that comes up next time is and uh, how to fix it. If you found this video helpful or even just enjoyed it, hit the like button, give us a thumbs up, let us know if you liked it so more people will get to see it and hopefully be able to help a few more people with changing the camshaft position sensor. Uh, you can also find me now on Facebook at Double Zero Garage. I'm on Instagram as well at Double Zero Garage and stickers are available. I'll leave a link below in the description so you can get yourself a sticker if you want one. If you want to support the channel in any other way, you can buy me a coffee and you can find me on Patreon. All the links to those are in the details below. Thanks for watching guys. See you next time. Bye for now.